magnitude comparator. A magnitude comparator compares two numbers and gives three outputs. If the two numbers are equal, then the first output, for example, it will be activated. If we have two numbers A and B, where A is greater than B, then F1 will be deactivated, only F2 will be activated. And if A is less than B, only F3 will be activated, others two will be deactivated. The two numbers A and B may have any number of bits as per our design. So in input side for A and B, we may have two bits, we may have three bits, we may have four bits, or we may have n number of bits. We'll see how to design a magnitude comparator with different number of bits. First of all, we'll see two bit magnitude comparator. In two bit magnitude comparator, A will have two bits, A0 and A1, and B will have two bits, B0 and B1, where A0 is the LSB least significant bit, and A1 is MSB most significant bit. So A can have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. B can have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. If A and B both are equal, for example 0, 0 and 0, 0, or 1, 1 and 1, 1, then F1 will be activated, others will be deactivated. For any values of A and B where A is equal to B, then F1 will be activated. Others two F2 and F3 will be deactivated. And if A is greater than B, then F2 will be activated, F1 and F3 will be deactivated. And if A is less than B, then F3 will be activated, F1 and F2 will be deactivated. Let us start designing this 2-bit magnitude comparator. The inputs and outputs are defined. In input side, we have 4 bits, A0, A1, B0, B1, and in the output side, we have three bits f1 f2 f3 so let's start designing this by constructing truth table as in in the input side we have four bits there will be 16 combinations so this is the truth table for this two bit comparator in the input side we have a0 a1 this is one set of numbers and we have b0 b1 this is another set of numbers and combinedly we have four bit in the input side and using four bit we can have 16 combinations now, whenever we have A0, A1, 0, 0, and B0, B1, 0, 0, that means A and B, they are having equal value. So, when A and B are equal, then F1 will be activated, others will be deactivated. So, we can write F1 will be 1 and F2 will be 0, F3 will be 0 for this case. For this case, A is having 0, 1 and B is having 0, 0. So, a is greater than B, so F2 will be activated, others will be deactivated. For this case as well, F2 will be activated. For this case as well, F2 will be activated. For this case, B is having 0, 1 and A is having 0, 0, so F3 will be activated, others will be deactivated. This is the for this. Now, for this case, A and B both are having same value, so F1 will be activated and this will be deactivated. For this case, A is greater than B, so F2 will be activated, others will be deactivated. For this case, A is greater than B. For this case, B is greater than A. So, for this case, B is greater than A. So, we'll have 0, 0, 1. For this case, A and B both are equal. So, you know, here a is greater than b so this will be the here b is greater than a so this will be the output here this is output for this combination here b is greater than a so this will be the output here b is greater than a so this will be the output and here a is equal to b so this will be the Hence, this is the final truth table for input and output combinations. Now, let's start constructing the Carnot map for each output function. Hence, we need to construct three Carnot map. One is for F1, which will represent A equals to B. One is for F2, which will represent A is greater than B. And another is for F3, which will represent A is less than B. Now, for F1, we'll have one 
when a0 a100 and b0 b100 both are equal we'll be having one here we'll be having one here we'll be having one here next f2 will be one here 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 on the truth table we can get it for zero one we'll be having one here where a is greater than b here and here and here finally f3 will be one here 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 where a is less than b that means b is greater than a we'll be having one here one here and finally one here now for f1 if you want to take the boxes one box can be taken here another box another box another box here for f2 we can take these four boxes we can take these two and finally we can take for f3 we can take these four boxes we can take these two boxes and finally we can take these two boxes now the function f1 can be written as b1 b0 a1 a0 prime 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 because all zeros plus b1 b0 b1 prime b0 a1 prime a0 plus b1 b0 a1 a0 plus b1 a0 prime a1 f2 can be written as a1 b1 prime plus a0 b1 prime b0 b0 prime a1 a0 there will be prime here and finally f3 can be written as b1 a1 prime plus b0 a1 prime a0 prime plus b1 b0 a0 prime now we will be able to construct the logic diagram from this functions the two bit comparator designing is very conventional and very easy to construct but how can we design a 4 bit comparator for 4 bit comparator a and b both will have 4 bit data each for example a will have a0 a1 a2 a3 where a0 is the lsb and a3 is the msb and b will have b0 b1 b2 b3 where b0 is the lsb and b3 is the msb now in the input side there are total 8 bits and in the output side will have only three bit output f1 f2 f3 which will show f1 a equals to b and f2 will represent a is greater than b and f3 will represent a is less than b now if we want to design this using conventional method there is a problem and the designing will not be that much easy because in input side we have total eight inputs so using eight inputs we can have two to the power eight numbers of combinations which is 256 combinations which is very difficult to construct in truth table also for eight variable it is quite difficult to design the circuit using Carnot map method so we'll be using another method for designing 4-bit magnitude comparator for designing 4-bit magnitude comparator we'll go bit by bit for example we'll compare a3 with b3 a2 with b2 a1 with b1 and a0 with b0 now it is clear that if a3 is equals to b3 a2 equals to b2 a1 equals to b1 and a0 equals to b0 then definitely a will be equal to b so we can write a will be equal to b if a3 is equal to b3 a2 equals to b2 a1 equals to b1 and a0 equals to b0 now let us construct the condition for a is greater than b to check whether a is greater than b or not we'll start from the msb now if a3 is greater than b3 we do not have to check others if a3 that means msb of any number is greater than another number then we can say directly that that complete number is greater than the another number so if a3 is greater than b3 then obviously a will be greater than b if a3 is greater than b3 we do not need to check 
other bits we can say a is greater than b this is one of the conditions next if a3 is equal to b3 then we need to check a2 if a2 is greater than b2 we can say a is greater than b this is another condition again if a3 is equal to b3 and a2 is equal to b2 then if a1 is greater than b1 then we can say a is greater than b again if a3 is equal to b3 a2 equals to b2 a1 equals to b1 then if a0 is greater than b0 then we can say a is greater than b next let's see the conditions for a is less than b if a3 is less than b3 we can say definitely a is less than b or b is greater than a we do not need to check other bits we are starting with msb next if a3 is equal to b3 then if a2 is less than b2 then we can say b is greater than a next if a3 equals to b3 a2 equals to b2 then if a1 is less than b1 then we do not need to check the least significant bit we can say b is greater than a finally if a3 is equal to b3 a2 equals to b2 a1 equals to b1 then if a0 is less than b0 then we can say a is less than b here it is to be mentioned that a is equal to b if a3 equal to b3 this condition is fulfilled and a2 equals to b2 this condition is fulfilled and a1 equals to b1 and a0 equals to b0 so all these conditions must be ended but here for a is greater than b if this a3 is greater than b if this condition is fulfilled or if this condition is fulfilled or if this condition is fulfilled or if this condition is fulfilled similarly for a is less than b it is true if this condition is fulfilled that means a3 is less than b3 or this condition or this condition or this condition now let us design a single bit magnitude comparator which will compare ai and bi where i will have an integer value starting from 0 to 3 i equals to 0 for this case ai will be a0 bi will be b0 if i equals to 1 then ai will be a1 bi will be b1 let's go to the next page let us draw the truth table first for single bit magnitude comparator we have ai bi here we have ai equals to bi ai is greater than bi and ai is less than bi we can have four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 these are the four combinations when ai equals to 0 bi equals to 0 we have this equals to 1 others will be 0 for this case bi is greater than ai so this will be 1 others will be 0 here ai is greater than bi so this will be the case and for this case again we are getting so the truth table is constructed we can say ai is equal to bi this condition will be fulfilled when we have ai prime bi prime or ai bi from this truth table we can get it and ai is greater than bi this condition will be fulfilled when we have ai bi prime and ai is less than bi this condition will be fulfilled when we have ai prime bi so these are the general equations you need to remember let's put this value equals to xi that means xi will be zero 
if a i two is not equal to b i, x i will be one if a i equals to b i. Now here we have a i b i prime and a i prime b i. These are to be constructed using logic gates. In order to minimize the number of logic gates, we'll express this in terms of these two variables. We can write this function in this fashion as well. a i b i prime plus a i prime b i full prime. You can prove this. You can come from here to here by using De Morgan's theorem. We have a i input and b i input. We need a i b i prime a prime b i. A i prime can be found out using not get here. This will be passed through this. Here we'll get a i prime. Here we'll get b i prime. And if we use and get here. We use another and get here. We need a i prime b i. So b i can be taken from here. Is connected, and a i can be taken from here in order to get a i b i prime. This is also connected. Here we'll get a i prime b i. Here we'll get a i b i prime. Now, in order to get x i, this output must go through OR gate, and due to this, will go through NOR gate. Here, this is the x i function output. Now, here, this is a i prime b i, which will show us a i is less than b i. You can see from here. That means if the output here is 1, then obviously a i is less than b i. And this is a i b i prime. We can take output from this connection, I mean output of this AND gate. And if this is 1, then we can say a i is greater than b i. So from this logic diagram, we can get all the three conditions for any particular bit. If x i equals to 1, then a i equals to b i. If this output a i prime b i, which can be taken from the upper AND gate output, then we can say a i is less than b i. And if we take the output from the lower AND gate output, which represents a i b i prime, and that will give us a i is greater than b i. We are going to use this single block to construct 4 bit magnitude comparator. Let us go to the next page. Now, for the 4-bit magnitude comparator, a3 equals to b3 will give us x3 equals to 1, a2 equals to b2 will give us x2 equals to 1, a1 equals to b1 will give us x1 equals to 1, and a0 equals to b0 will give us x0 equals to 1. Now, if we want to represent a is greater than b in a function form, we can say from this equation, a i is greater than b i. That means a 3 will be greater than b 3. If a 3 into b 3 prime, this condition is fulfilled. Or if a 3 equals to b 3, that means a 3 equals to b 3 will give us x 3 equals to 1. So x 3 equals to 1 will represent that this a 3 and b 3, they are equal. In that case, we will compare a2 b2 prime again if a3 equals to b3 a2 equals to b2 which represents x3 and x2 both are 1 so we can say x3 x2 both are 1 in that case these two bits are equal now we need to compare a1 and b1 so we need to write a1 b1 prime plus x3 x2 x1 into a0 b0 prime so from here we can say this is our f2 function and f1 function can be written as if a equals to b then 
a3 b3 a2 b2 a1 b1 and a0 b0 all will be equal so in that case x3 will be 1 x2 will be 1 x1 will be 1 and x0 will be 1 if all these are 1 this represents a equals to b so f1 will be 1 finally for f3 first condition is a3 is less than b3 if this is fulfilled we do not need to check the other bits we can write a3 prime b3 or if a3 equals to b3 which represents x3 equals to 1 we can say then we need to check a2 prime b2 or x3 x2 we need to check a1 prime b1 or x3 x2 x1 then we need to check a0 prime b0 so these are the three functions we have got as we have four bit comparator we need to use four single bit comparator block let us construct the logic diagram here we have four blocks of single bit comparator this is for a3 b3 so this will be 3 3 3 this is a2 b2 here we need to put 2 and this is x2 a1 b1 x1 a0 b0 x0 first let us construct the function output for f1 x0 x1 x2 x3 will pass through an and gate and will get the function output f1 so the input of this and gate will come from x3 another input will come from x2 another input will come from x1 and another input will come from x0 next let us construct the logic diagram for f2 for f2 we need to use or gates as this is in sum of product form these are the product terms so let us draw the or gate first this is the or gate we will have four inputs here and the output will be f2 one of the inputs of the or gate will come from a3 b3 prime this is readily available a3 b3 prime so we can take output from here and we can connect it with or get next x3 a2 b2 prime we have a2 b2 prime readily available and that will be ended with x3 so let's do it we need to take one of the inputs from x3 and another input will come from this a2 b2 prime and the output of this AND gate will pass through this OR gate. Next, x3, x2, a1, b1 prime to construct another AND gate. x3, x2, a1, b1 prime. The output of this AND gate will pass through this OR gate. Next, x3, x2, x1, a0, b0 prime. We need to use another AND gate one input will come from x3 another input will come from x2 another input will come from x1 finally another input will come from a0 b0 prime the output of this and get passed through this okay we have figured out the function f2 which will show a is greater than b now let us construct the logic diagram for function f3 using this boolean expression.
This is the complete logic diagram of a 4-bit magnitude comparator.